Hello you guys, what is up? So for today's video, we're gonna be recreating Pinterest outfits. As you guys know, Pinterest is one of the biggest social media platforms for inspo. There's recipes, there's a whole bunch of stuff on there. So today I'm gonna be recreating some outfits from Pinterest that have gone like viral. And we're gonna see how well I can do because obviously I don't really have all of the exact clothing that was like in the photos. But we're gonna try our best to recreate the clothing and make it hopefully as close to the actual outfit as possible. And I feel like a lot of girls are in the same boat where you know what your style is and you know how you want to dress but at the same time it's like you don't have the money to just go and buy all those clothes right so i understand the struggle so that's why together we're going to be recreating them from just things in my closet okay i picked out some photos some outfits to recreate i'll put them on the screen right here and we're just gonna go one by one and see how we do let's get started on outfit number one okay so the first outfit that we're gonna recreate is this one so these brown sweatpants are literally gonna be perfect Perfect. Now for the white shirt. Oh god, I kind of have like a little stain on here, so don't mind that. I just pretend like it's not there. We need some tie to go. And then for her like shawl, not her shawl, her like wrap around crew neck, this is ex like exactly the color that she has on, so this is perfect. For the purse, since I don't have anything brown, I'm just gonna wing it on the spot. I'm just gonna wear whatever purse, probably like my cow print one, because I feel like that would look really cute with these shades. So yeah, outfit number one. Okay, so here's my recreation. I honestly think that this is almost spot on, besides obviously the purse that I had to compromise because I don't really have a brown purse so I think that this one looks super cute as well and it also gives the outfit like an extra taste of spice if you know what I mean a little pop of pattern I don't know I just really like how it's different shades of beige and brown all put together I think a brown purse would look better a brown cow print that would look so cute yeah but other than that I think this is pretty much spot on I think I did a really good job with this one I'm actually surprised that I had pretty much everything she was wearing in my closet so I think this one turned out really well. All right, so now for this next outfit, it's more of a summertime outfit, but summertime honestly is right around the corner. I know it's not even spring yet, but summer is gonna be here before you know it. She has ripped jeans in the photo, but they're more of like a ripped wash that is closer to this lighter material. So I don't know which ones to pick. I think that the shorts look more like these than they do these. So if I take this and then like crop it a little more because her shirt's really cropped. So if I take this and kind of roll it up, I feel like that will give a similar effect. Effect. Over top, she's wearing just like a white this type of thing. I'm gonna take this over that. We'll just put this one on. I know it's like not really the same. Like she has hers around her shoulder, but I don't really have a purse like that. So we're just gonna use this one. Okay, so here is the next outfit. I kind of had to compromise because this shirt is like longer, but actually it looks kind of better longer anyways. But yeah, I didn't have like a really short type of shirt like the one that she was wearing in the photo. Nothing is like 100% like it is in the photo, but I think that this is a pretty good recreation. I also wore a similar gold chain. So yeah, I think this one is super cute and it's just like a perfect cute summer outfit when you want to wear shorts and a tank top and still kind of dress it up a bit. If I were to take off this and if I were to take off the necklace and the purse, it would just be a plain summer outfit with like a tank top and shorts. But adding this with the necklace and the purse just makes it so much more like pizzazz and definitely going to be wearing this sometime in the summer when it gets hotter. All right, so the next outfit is this one. So we're going to wear this little tiny sports bra thingy. And these aren't the exact jeans, but in the photo it just shows like here up anyway. So all I can see is the top of the jeans. These are gonna be close enough. And then the only thing that I have really that's very actually similar to that besides the color would be this shirt. And then the purse that she's wearing, again, I don't really have a brown purse. So what are we gonna do about that? I honestly, unfortunately don't really have many purses. I really wanna step up my purse game. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. But for the meantime, we'll just use like my cow print one or something. Alrighty, I think that I did a really good job. I layered the jewelry like she had in the photo. When you have a shirt that's cut like this, you want to really emphasize on the jewelry because your neck is completely exposed, so you gotta dress it up. I feel like jewelry just can transform an outfit from making it look kind of basic to like, wow, she's got her life together type of thing. Personally, I would literally even style this with a bucket hat. Just kind of adds that extra bit of pizzazz to the outfit. I think that this looks so cute. 
10 out of 10. Really like this one. Okay, so for the next outfit, I'm basically just going to be using the jeans that I wore previously and also the white shirt that I wore previously. I'm just going to take this brown sweater. I literally just bought this from Brandy and we're going to wear it with that and I think that's pretty similar. And then for the glasses, I have literally the exact same glasses. I'm just going to reuse that black purse that I already put out. All right, so here's the recreation for this one. I honestly think this one turned out almost perfect except for the shade of the sweater is a little different and the jeans are a little different but overall I think it turned out literally perfect this is such a cute outfit it's just like comfy casual cute you can wear this and just throw it on but still feels so put together which is literally my favorite thing ever adding like the glasses and the bag it just spices things up accessories people accessories accessories that's all I have to say I'm obsessed with like the oversized sweater look I think that is just so so cute. You feel like a sloppy joe, but you look like put together and that is the best. Okay, so for this next photo, this is like the infamous, I'm pretty sure Emma Chamberlain literally created this look. Yoga pants. I honestly don't even own a pair, but I'm gonna raid my mom's closet and see if I can find a pair. And then I'm gonna reuse the same beige crew neck that I already wore. I'm just gonna put this white turtleneck underneath. I'll reuse those same black glasses. As for the black jacket, I honestly want one of those so bad, but I do not own one and I don't really have anything that would match. So I'm just gonna wear this outfit fit without the jacket so I did find some yoga pants but they were not the ones I was hoping these kind of don't really flare that much at the bottom so if these don't work out I do have a backup option the only thing is is they're not like tight on the leg if these look like shit then we'll move on to these so okay so here's this outfit I honestly really do like it I did style it a little bit different than she did in the photo I ended up using the sweatpants that I had just because of the yoga pants they weren't like the right shape or anything but I honestly think that this idea is so cute but it really Really does help when you accessorize it like adding a purse and some sunglasses I think that it just pulls the outfit together and does it not look like I'm so put together right now even though I'm the comfiest I've ever been even my little Louis Vuitton backpack I feel like this would look super cute with this and this is also a really easy outfit to recreate you basically just need some black pants crew neck and a turtleneck and bam okay so the next outfit I'm gonna wear those same lighter jeans as previously because I literally barely own any jeans and then I'm gonna wear that same white little sports bra thingy bajing and then I'm gonna add this flannel over top okay so here's the next outfit I honestly feel like this is a classic a staple i feel like anyone can make this out of the basics in their closet and i just think that this is literally so cute i would also spice this one up with my bucket hat especially for the summer this kind of pulls the fit together i think she wasn't wearing one in the photo but i do think that this kind of completes the outfit and it just gives you like that summer vibeness of it you know what i'm saying yeah love it Okay, so for this next outfit, so we're gonna take this plaid skirt with this button-up shirt And then I honestly do not have again that black blazer type of thing I really need to get one of these black blazer things. They're just so in right now So it's either I wear that white one or I wear just like a sweater She's also wearing a fuzzy bag which I do not have and I really want to get one of these because they're just so cute So instead of that, we'll just throw on my long kind of purse. Yeah, I think that'll be cute Okay, so here's the next outfit. Obviously Obviously, I replaced the black blazer. I was thinking of doing a black sweater or a white one, but I tried them both on and they just didn't look right. But this brown one, on the other hand, I think that this is super cute. Not as cute as a black blazer, but I do think that this is a really good second option. And I also like how in the back, like, you can only see the sweater and then you turn around, but you're actually wearing a cute outfit, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I didn't have the fluffy purse, but this actually does look really cute because it matches the color of the shirt and the skirt. And I think all of these tones just really look good together. And yeah, I think that this turned out super cute even though I didn't have every single piece that she had something that I'm gonna wear So yeah, okay, so for this next outfit I don't really have an all like the all black kind of shorts with the shirt So I'm gonna compromise and we're just gonna wear like put this in a different color scheme We will do beige we'll put these on and she's wearing like the same shirt I feel like this kind of goes together and I can also just like crop the shirt to make it more cropped Like she had it in the photo and then she's wearing like a like a dress shirt open kind of Thing. I don't have anything short sleeve, but I do have this. So this might look cute. And then she's wearing a fanny pack. We'll throw this one over top and then wear the same black glasses that I've worn for every single photo. That's pretty much it. Okay, so honestly, this didn't really come out the way that I had planned. <laughs> um, honestly, not very a good recreation. Kind of failed this one, but you know, it's fine. It'll do. I haven't worn like this in a while and I thought it was going to be more oversized than it is, but it's 
kind of small and I don't know, it just doesn't give that same feel as the one in the photo does. It doesn't really look as good, but it still is cute. Like I still would wear this. The glasses kind of pulls it together. Kind of a fail, but the other ones are all good. So there's bound to be one bad one. Okay, so for the next outfit recreation, this is Hailey Bieber. These look really similar to the jeans that she's wearing. And then she's wearing a black blazer, but like I said, I don't have, but I have a solution for this one. So instead of wearing just a black plain blazer, I have this really cute checkered blazer that we can put on instead of that one. So she's kind of just wearing a little scoop neck tank top, so this will do. All right, so here's the Hailey Bieber outfit. I honestly think that this one is super cute. It's again, like really simple, but it's super cute. Like if I were to just be wearing the tank top with the jeans, that would just be too much of a basic outfit, but putting this blazer over top and adding a purse and some sunglasses just makes it so much more spicy up she was wearing a white purse which would look so good but i do not have a white purse so i just paired it with a black one to match the sunglasses and the shirt honestly i think that this is really cute and these jeans are pretty much like the same wash and everything that she had on so honestly not bad okay so for this last outfit i think these are almost pretty much identical i don't really have the same color like beige that she's wearing um i just got this one from maritzia and it's super cute so it's not beige but it'll do because it's just like a plain crop this one is just white so that'll do if i wear this green fanny pack across i feel like it would look really cute we'll try it on and see because it gives that like big buckle type of feel instead of like the thin strapped one that i was thinking about okay so this recreation isn't that bad i do wish i had like a similar purse to what she has in the photo because that was just so cute but this fanny pack will have to do other than that though it is pretty cute i liked her color scheme that she's wearing in the photo a lot better than what i have but it does give me like the same outfit vibe, so I think that's enough. It is actually just a really cute, comfy outfit to throw on. And I do like when people have like the sweaters around them like this. I think it's just really cute. Like you can even wear it like this over your shoulders. I think it just gives it such like a cute vibe. I would wear it, so I'd give it like a good solid seven out of 10.